Has this ever been you? You're going along fine, everything's working like a well-oiled machine, and then out of nowhere, bam, the scale shows that you've gained five pounds overnight. What in the world happened? Well, in today's video, I'm going to try to talk you back from the ledge as we confront this mystery head on. So first things first, you didn't gain five pounds overnight. There. Don't you feel better? No, I didn't think so. I didn't much either. Seeing the scale jump up when you're trying to work as hard as you can can be extremely disappointing. But you have to understand that there's a ton of variables that can affect that little tiny number on that scale. And while there are a ton of them, I want to do my best to hit the major ones on today's video. And one quick thing before we get into this, it's really my opinion that you need to get away from weighing yourself every single day on the scale. Due to the fact that there are a lot of things that can affect your weight or how it shows up on the scale, you're just better off in many cases to get either a weekly or even a bi-weekly number to be able to get a much uh, better overall view of how you're doing when it comes to your weight loss. So let's talk about fat for a second. The first thing that you have to understand is that a pound of fat is comprised of 3,500 calories. But it's not just about eating 3,500 calories. Your body burns calories just to keep you alive. This is called your BMR, or basal metabolic rate. Your heart pumping, your lungs expanding, blood going through your body, uh, your digestive tract, all of these things require energy, and your body is burning calories to do those things. Now everyone's BMR is different, but just for the sake of argument, let's say that yours is 2,000 calories a day. So you burn 2,000 calories a day just doing your normal stuff, getting up and you know even just existing, maybe going to work in a very low intensity job, just doing some regular things, you're burning 2,000 calories a day. Keep in mind, when you add exercise to the mix, that bumps that up significantly. But for right now, we're just gonna say that you're living a fairly sedentary life, and again, your 2,000 calories is your BMR. So if you eat 2,000 calories worth of food in a day, you're pretty much just breaking even. Your body requires 2,000 calories of energy, you're feeding it 2,000 calories of energy, and so it's pretty much leveling it out. You're not really gonna store anything. In order to gain one pound, you would have to consume 3,500 additional calories on top of the 2,000 that you've already consumed just to gain one pound of fat. So using our example, if your BMR is 2,000, you would have to consume 5,500 calories in a day in order to theoretically gain one pound of fat. Now keep in mind, this is a very high level view. There's a lot more involved in this, but we're just trying to keep it simple for right now. So in order to gain five pounds, you would have to consume 19,000 500 calories. So unless you sat down and consumed an entire sheet cake by yourself, it's pretty safe to say or assume that you didn't gain five pounds yesterday. Let's talk about the top things that can give you the impression of weight gain. And be sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna hit on a tip that's gonna be really relevant for those of you that have just started or are maybe a month or two into your new way of, le new way of eating or new lifestyle. The first reason why you may show a perceived weight gain has everything to do with sodium and water retention. Sodium is crucially important, especially when you're on the ketogenic diet, because you're getting rid of a lot of water, you're drinking a lot of water, you're urinating out a lot of trace minerals, and so you do need a lot of sodium. But it's also something that you can overdo. And sometimes even just one high sodium meal or something like a ham steak or something else like that can really put a lot of extra sodium into your body. When that happens, your body compensates by hanging on to a lot of extra water. Water weighs a lot, so literally even just one meal that's high in sodium can hang on to several pounds worth of water without much effort. So if you wake up and see a sudden spike on the scale, I'm going to encourage you, think about what you ate in the last 12 hours and see if that could be something that you're looking at. Reason number two, and this one's a whole lot more fun to talk about, and that's muscle gain or recomposition. One of the great things about the ketogenic lifestyle is the lack of inflammation. And I know at least in my case, one of the things that encouraged me to do because I wasn't in pain anymore was to actually get out and get a lot more exercise. And if that's been you, that means that you have a much higher chance of possibly putting on some muscle mass. Now keep in mind that muscle is more dense than fat, which means that if you gain a little bit of muscle there, you could show a short-term gain on the scale. But don't fear this because muscle is going to be able to burn your fat. The more muscle mass that you have, the more capacity that you have to actually burn additional fat. And since muscle is more dense than fat, it takes up a lot less room. So five pounds of muscle is going to take up a lot less room than five pounds of fat. So you may actually notice that the scale is not moving or maybe even going up by a pound or two, but your, that your clothes are all of a sudden fitting better. This is a great thing and you need to celebrate it. Don't worry about the scale if you see those things happening because changes are happening inside your body. 
Hey, real quick, if you're getting anything out of this video, before we go on to our next tip, would you mind jumping over and subscribing to my channel? And if you do subscribe, click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications. And also, please consider liking this video and maybe even dropping a comment down below about some of the struggles that you've had as you've watched the scale go up and down. All right, let's get back to it. The next thing on the list is irregularity. Uh, you know, things are just not moving along the way they used to. I'll spare you any more details, but lack of bowel regularity or constipation can definitely show itself on the scale. And while there are things that you can do to kind of take care of this, whether it's stool softeners or sugar-free uh, fiber supplements or things that would fit into the ketogenic or low-carb uh, low lifestyle, it's usually a temporary thing that will eventually pass. And we'll leave that pun right there. Our next thing on the list is medication. If you've been recently put on medication or maybe had your dosages adjusted recently, that can definitely show itself on the scale. Perhaps your hormones are fluctuating a little bit or something along those lines. It is something that can definitely impact the scale. Now, I'm not a doctor and I would never encourage you to stop taking medication or do anything with your medication without talking to your doctor first. But just be aware that if you have been recently put onto a medication or had something change, that could be what's leading to um, a, a perceived weight gain on the scale. The next one on the list is gravitational fluctuations. Yeah, I'm pretty much joking. But here's the thing. Sometimes, honestly, you do everything right and things just don't pan out on the scale. Just recognize that that's a part of this. It's going to happen and don't let it get you down. I mean, there have been times where I showed a two pound gain, did nothing, got up the next day and showed a four pound loss. I mean, what's that all about? Sometimes things are just weird and we don't really have a great explanation for it. Just keep walking the path, making healthy choices and things will change. Now, I said in the beginning I was going to give a bonus tip, and this one is going to be geared towards those that have kind of just started the ketogenic lifestyle or low-carb lifestyle, uh, or maybe you're a couple of months into it and you're seeing some weird stuff on the scale. Now, this may seem obvious, but it's often overlooked. You've been living in a certain way for, in many cases, like for my case, it was almost 20 years, and all of a sudden, you're doing something wildly different than what your body's used to. This is shocking your body and actually putting it under stress. And while you may experience some immediate weight loss, which is what gets everybody so excited, understand that your body is not quite yet to the point where it's operating efficiently in this new way of life. So keeping that in mind, it may take months for your body to get to the point where it knows what to expect. The cell mitochondria has changed, it's burning fat or ketones instead of glucose. All that stuff can impact what's happening on the scale. All I wanna encourage you to do is stay the course, keep making the right choices, and the changes will come. All right, folks, so that's my top reasons why you may start seeing some changes on the scale, even if you're doing everything right. Sometimes it just happens and you need to have that mindset that it's not your, your weight loss is not going to be just a straight downward arrow that's going right there. It's going to have fluctuations. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be plateaus. There might even be some gains in there, but that's just a part of the journey that you're going to be on. And as long as you get the right mindset in that, it's going to make it so much easier for you to continue on this journey. So again, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please like the video, drop a comment down below. Have you been somebody that struggled with seeing these weight gains and fluctuations and you overcame it? Maybe you can share some ideas down below for everybody else and how you overcame those things. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your time and I'll see you next time.